Ezra Venechemyah, Ezra 5. Then the prophets Haggai, the prophet, and Zechariahu, the son of Ido, prophesied unto the Yahudim that were in Yahudah and Yerushalayim in the name of the Elohim of Yashadael, even unto them. Then rose up Zerub Babel, the son of Shealatiel, and Yahusha, the son of Yahu Sadach, and began to build the house of Elohim, which is at Yerushalayim. And with them were the prophets of Elohim helping them. At the same time came to them Tatanai, governor on this side of the river, and Shithar, Boznai, and their companions, and said un, uh, rather, and said thus unto them, Who has commanded you to build this house, and to make up this wall? Then said we unto them after this manner, What are the names of the men that make this building? But the eye of their Elohim was upon the elders of the Yahudim, that they could not cause them to cease, till the matter came to Daraviash, rather Dari Yavesh, and then they returned answer by Sefer concerning this matter. The copy of the Sefer that Tatanai, governor on this side the river, and Shithar Boznai, and his companions, the Afar Sikafayim, rather Afar Sikayim, which were on this side of the river, sent unto Dariyavayesh, rather Dariyavesh, the king. They sent a sefer unto him, wherein was written thus, Unto Dariyavesh, the king, all peace. Be it known unto the king that we went into the province of Yahud, to the house of the great Elohim, which is built with great stones, and timber is laid in the walls. And this work goes fast on and prospers in their hands. Then asked we those elders and said unto them thus, We commanded you to build this house, and to make up these walls, rather, who commanded you to build this house and to make up these walls? We ask their names also to certify you that we might write the names of the men that were the chief of them. And thus they returned us answer, saying, We are the servants of the Elohim of heaven and earth, and build the house that was built these many years ago which a great king of Yashadael built and set up. But after that our fathers had provoked the Elohim of heaven unto wrath. He gave them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babel, the Kazdi, who destroyed this house and carried the people away into Babel. But in the first year of Koresh, the king of Babel, the same king Koresh, made a decree to build this house of Elohim, and the vessels also of gold and silver of the house of Elohim, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple that was in Yerushalayim, and brought them into the temple of Babel. Those did Koresh the king take out of the temple of Babel, and they were delivered unto one, whose name was Sheshbat Setzar, whom he had made governor, and said unto him, Take these vessels, go, carry them into the temple that is in Yerushalayim, and let the house of Elohim be built in his place. Then came the same Sheshbat Setzar, and laid the foundation of the house of Elohim, which is in Yerushalayim. And since that time, even until now, has it been in building, and yet it is not finished. Now, therefore, if it seem good to the king, 
Let there be search made in the king's treasure house, which is there at Babel. Whether it be so, that a decree was made of Koresh, the king, to build this house of Elohim at Yerushalayim, and let the king send his pleasure to us concerning this matter.